Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Abe's Review Video, Topic 515, uh, Sustainable Agriculture. So in sustainable agriculture, the idea is that you want to be able to prevent soil erosion, you want to be able to grow your crops without leaving too much lasting damage. So we've seen issues like this, um, like with the Dust Bowl, there was not very good uh, conservation method, uh, con conservation methods with soil, and that led to a bunch of very loose soils and then storms, and of course that led to the, uh, that unfortunately compounded the Great Depression at the time. So some methods we can do now and that we know uh, to help conserve that soil are going to be, uh, depending on uh, what you're uh, farming, it can be on uh, the way you uh, actually lay out your farm. So, you know, these methods include contour plowing, windbreaks, changing your crops to perennials, uh, terracing, which is going to be the leveling of your farm, um, and then, of course, no-till agriculture and strip cropping. So we're going to go through those examples right now. Okay, so looking here, you can see um, we have the perennial crops and windbreaks. So perennial crops are going to be those that do not need to be replanted every year. That's going to be um, soil that can stay down because the roots will actually lock in and prevent the soil from running off. And that's going to be crops like basil, strawberries, potatoes are good examples. Um, and then what you see here in this picture, that's a windbreak. So you can have these walls of bushes or trees that block the wind from blowing away the top layer of the soil. So, you know, those can be, um, you know, plants that you may want to cultivate or just, uh, you know, for aesthetic purposes. And then here what you have are two examples as well. You have terracing and no-till agriculture. So terracing on the left, that's going to be where you plant your crops at a level at different levels so that um, on the side of a hill so when the water runs down it runs down to the next level and it doesn't end up washing away so the soil will remain or whatever does fall falls to where you have crops where that can be useful so you save water that way and you end up preventing a lot of erosion the one on the right is no-till agriculture that would be when you have your um, plants that don't make it they die for some reason um, or after the season's over, you leave them there and that allows for uh, fortifying of the ground so that the soil itself doesn't run off again. And so and that also can serve as nutrients for your plants um, for the next season and so on. And then here we have strip cropping. This is the idea that you grow the crops in strips and somewhat uh, at an angle so that as the water runs down, you maximize the space and you can maximize your profits. So this can help either way. Then of course you have grazing and soil, so you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that your grazing is moved. And so the idea is you have rotational grazing because if you leave an area open for too much, then those pastures won't be able to replenish. But if you can rotate sections, fence them off, and not allow them to be the same ones all the time, then you can replenish that and the soil will remain as well. So whether you're farming plants or whether you're farming animals, you can still find ways to save the soil. So here's some other resources you can check out. Hopefully um, they'll be able to help you out and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much.